It is moving day, and it's going to be a lot of stuff to bring up. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all. <laughs> I forgot. I Second day of summer school done, and my new room, the whiteboard, is going up today. So, we're gonna go check that out. And let's see how that room is coming along. I'm excited. This room is looking a lot better than it did before, and only simply because they're redoing our cafeteria, and that meant all of the cafeteria stuff was in my room, or my new room. and. I just want to say thanks to our custodian staff for just putting in the work to take it out, take it in, all those stuff, and getting this room ready for me to really make it a brand new classroom for next year. Let's take a look at <clears throat> what it looks now because I guarantee you it's going to change when it goes into closer to July, August, once I'm in here doing things and livening up this classroom. So this old cork board <clears throat> was up here. You can see the outline. I asked our custodian staff if they could put a whiteboard there. So we moved that. I'm gonna put it right here. And then this whiteboard, this new one, is gonna go all the way right here. Yeah, I'm gonna be flipping my classroom. So I wanna teach one content over here then we're gonna slip it over or flip it over and teach another content there. And those that's how my class is gonna be. It's gonna be a flip classroom. I hope I don't get dizzy doing this, but let's go. Uh, I'm just kidding. Hey everyone, it's June 30th, Sunday and I'm in my classroom now. <clears throat> You're probably wondering, why are you in your classroom? It's summer and it's Sunday. Well, one, I need to clean out this and the other one over there. It is moving day and it's gonna be a lot of stuff to bring up, but we are excited to teach next year, get this done so I can enjoy my summer break and hope you enjoy this journey with me.
So I just got the tables in. Two of them are gonna be leaving because I'm making some high tables for my flipped classroom. There will be about six inches less in width. So I'm gonna get more space here. Let's bring in the bookcase and other things and let's see how the room starts looking out. Day three of moving in, as you saw earlier, it was just a mess, but I'm very excited to be moving on to our DIY project. I am making some high tables for my students. Uh, big thanks to my wife. She organized all of my things and I just took orders. And I'm excited for day four and day five. Continue on this journey with me and let's get to it. All right, so day four of the move-in. Uh, luckily, a lot of this stuff is put away already because of my wife, so thank you to her. We are going to repurpose these kindergarten table, desk, whatever you want to call it, and make a couple tables out of them. Plywood over there, we're going to be making some high tables for the students for flexible seating. And I'm very excited for this project. I haven't done carpentry in about a few years, so let's see how it turns out. Here's that plywood, very long. This was all one piece that was put together. And over here we have the legs, which I need to make a table for my charging station over there. So here's that, and here are the two by four for the legs on one of the tables. Making it 36 inches high, so it's about just below my hip. And definitely an exciting project to be doing. Day four is in the books. We did a lot today. We cut some wood, sanded, put some putty to fill in some circle, not circles, to fill in some holes. And uh, it may not look like a lot. I'll move out of the way. But we threw out all the recycle slash trash. We did a lot. And I wanna show you a small project that my wife helped me out with, or she put it together was a side table. These were from kindergarten and actually the top was from kindergarten and I needed some side tables to put my iPad charging station. And I will be putting a video on how to make your own uh, charging station because trust me, if you have devices, it gets tangled, it gets messy. Anyways, our last day is day five. It'll be Thursday. Tomorrow we'll be at the LAFC game, but day five Thursday, we're putting not only two high tables up for the students, 
it'll be my teacher table because I eliminated a desk my first year, I'm all thinking. I eliminated the desk, uh, my teacher desk, my first year teaching. I didn't want, I didn't want it. I knew I was going to be there and hoard. But I've had a kidney shape, kidney shape table. And that worked for a great time, but I noticed that I was pulling students rather than going over and facilitating. Since I'm flipping the classroom, I wanted a small teaching table that I can help maneuver, put around. I put casters on it, or I will. Let's get to it. Day five coming up. Day four complete. Let's go. So we just cut the wood here at Lowe's and we are ready to go back to school and make these tables. Let's go day five, ready to finish this project up. We are now in the classroom. We have our wood. I'm gonna need to measure it, cut it to the size that we need. We have the Craig jig system right here and we are going to make three tables today. The plan is to not only make them, but also paint them and call it a summer or call it a time, you know what I mean. Now we're gonna make the pocket holes for this table. It took me a few hours to figure out what size and all that. I'm that kind of person that needs to do that, but I'm kinda glad I did. Let's do this. This is one piece, six more to go. Now that we have the battery all charged up, that's the only downside with this system, but I like it because it's cordless and it was affordable, but it's time to put these tables together. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. N is for anywhere and anytime at all. <laughs> I forgot. I Day five complete. We didn't get to complete as much as we set out to do. We wanted to finish the tables, have them painted, and then not come back, but it took me about an hour and a half to figure out the pocket holes, these things. But hey, we always teach our kids to be, to persevere and continue doing, even though it's difficult. So I had to practice what I preach, but I'm happy how they're turning out. We got one table here and it's pretty good. I like it a lot. I'm excited. Tomorrow we're putting them together, painting them, so you're gonna get a glimpse of that. I know it's taking forever, but we're thinking maybe day six, seven, if we need to, but after that, we're basically done.
day six, here are the table legs, the skirts that go on the long side. We're putting the tables together today. I'm excited. Finally, we're done after today. Put them together, paint them black, and then I'll see you in August. Here's my teacher table, the base. It's coming along. We're gonna put the top on, then put some casters and paint this, and it'll be ready to go. All right, we got table one, my teaching table, and the second student table. So three tables in total. We're putting this siding trimming right now. I wanted to keep as much of there as possible. So here we go. We're gonna paint these black. That's why I didn't worry about sanding it too much but it's coming along. Table number one with four bar stools. And over here we have almost fell right there. Table number two, it's shorter to fit the shorter stools. And then my favorite, I am biased, it is my teacher table. And I almost fell. <laughs> I have casters on it so I can move it around, move it out of the way. Then my favorite part is I created a little lip and that's where my iPad holder, whatever you would call it, hanging, tripod, I don't know. It'll go there and there we have it in my own stool. So I'm pretty excited. And we're done. I hope you enjoy these tables. I had a struggle making them, I'm gonna be honest. I, I struggled a lot, figuring out what to do, what to make, and, but overall they came out pretty amazing. I, I, I don't know what else to say. I'm thankful that my wife helped me with this project. Uh, she painted these, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I painted a little bit, but she painted most of them because she had this technique and you know, once she's focused, I'm gonna let her do it. Not gonna, not gonna fight it, right? <laughs> but I'm excited. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole renovation of adding things to the board. That'll be closer to when we come back in August. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching, joining this journey. It was a lot of fun, a lot of tiredness and yeah. So I hope you enjoy. What I'm gonna do these next four weeks is going to work on my mental health. I'm gonna be doing a lot of self-care, a lot of things that make me happy, and I'll be taking you on that journey so I can help hold myself accountable. But overall, let's look forward to next week.